At the bottom of the Bet Angel screen, if we go over here, you can see there are some little flashy numbers and stuff uh, tick tocking away. And uh, this tells you a, a range of different types of information. Um, on this bit here, this tells you how far you have until the event that you're looking at starts. If you double click on that, it will bring up a little box and you can pin that to the top of the screen and put that clock wherever you want on the screen. Very simple to do, uh, very useful prompt and that will change colour as we get closer to the start of the event and start flashing at you and doing all sorts of things like that. You've also got um, a few other buttons down here. Um, you can actually sort buttons, indicators. You can see here uh, this number that's ticking away here is telling you how many uh, milliseconds it takes to get a response from Betfair's servers. BetAngel was the first product to ever put this sort of information in and that was simply because we realized it was important for you to understand how um, quickly you were getting a response back because if this starts to lengthen dramatically you can see at the moment it's refreshing about a hundred Oh look, there you go. Did you see what happened there? Um, and that was because I was downloading an email in the background and that um, and that basically increased the time out a bit. So it's generally running at about 100 milliseconds here, in other words a tenth of a second. And um, if you see a spike in that, then that's time to start getting concerned because either Betfair is slowing down or there's something going on, another process on your machine that's slowing down your machine. So you can see here we're at, at an acceptable 100 milliseconds. So we were the first people to ever use this um, in a product and it was designed to aid um, your understanding of how your connection is performing. But what we also did is we realized that um, there were two things going on. Getting odds back from the betting exchange was uh, quite quick and simple and that seemed to be fairly consistent but what we noticed was that retrieving unmatched bet information and matched bet information seemed to be the Achilles heel of the exchange. There's a very good technical reason um, why that is the case but I won't bore you with that in this particular video but we know why um, the exchange has difficulty with one and not with the other and the way that it works but that's that's an engineering techie issue. So what we did as well is we actually put this one in here you can see this is responding slightly slower but this is actually tell asking for information surrounding the amount of bets that you've placed and the information that you've got in the system uh, and stuff like that so you've got two different indicators one is how fast are the odds coming down one is how fast um, are the bets coming down? How, how fast is information on unmatched and matched bets coming down? If for example we saw both of these suddenly grind to a halt, we've also got this little button here, um, the R. If we click on the R that basically breaks the connection to the exchange and attempts to reconnect. So that allows you basically if you do see a problem or you think that there's an issue click on the big red R and that will break the connection and reconnect it, reconnect it for you, restart the whole um, process and that allows you to keep an eye on how the exchange is performing and how your connection is performing. If we go over to the rules tab you can see the rules tab here there's also some other connection related material available. If you look at the bottom of the screen here um, Betfair limits your data requests per second to 20 per second so if you're running two copies of BetAngel you could for example just reduce that to 10 so you've got 10 running on both individual copies um, but typically you want to have as many as you can a second. The how many you're doing a second is located down here so this actually tells you that you're doing 12 or I'm doing 12, 13, 14, 10. You can see there's a mixture. If I slow down how fast I'm refreshing BetAngel then can, you can see that that drops in response. So there are many different aspects whether you've got full market depth on, uh, how fast you're refreshing, the sort of data you're pulling down, all of those things have an effect on the amount of data requests you're sending. So if I speed this up again you'll see that all I've done is change the refresh here from one second to 200 milliseconds. It's five times faster. You can see the count goes up again. If you want to limit how many you, of these counts you want per second you can do that here and that will res restrict that to a certain number. You're only allowed 20 a second before you start getting charged by Betfair. Or if you want it to be unlimited then you can whack it up to whatever number you like but you will start incurring a charge and you can see there's a warning here to indicate that you will incur a charge so we'll pull that back down to our whoops don't want to pull it back down to one <laughs> we could do <laughs> entirely up to you we'll put it back to 20
You can also see over on the left hand side of this area there's a thing called the dynamic connection um, tuner and basically depending upon which connection mode you've moved um, you've, you've logged on with this will allow you to actually hone um, this the speed and style of your connection so you can put that up to a very high number such as a hundred and this would basically have no effect on your uh, connection but your objective with the connection mode tuner it's a combination of which connection mode you're logged in at and um, what you want out of the performance but if you pull the connection mode tuner to the left um, this will basically improve your connection speed if you pull it too far to the left what will happen is your connection may freeze so it's a question of trial and error to determine which is the best um, figure that you want to have on the connection mode tuner and that's down to individual circumstances your connection how fast your computer is all these different variables but basically you want that number to be as low as possible without um, locking up the software so you know if you started at 20 and started to move it down in small increments and see how um, the software responds to that that will definitely improve your performance so a combination of looking at the numbers that you see down here that your connection mode and the can and the dynamic connection tuner will allow you to improve the performance of Bet Angel, and obviously if you have a much better performance than other people um, then you will uh, perform better overall um, but those are some of the more advanced features that you have to do with connecting to the exchange with Bet Angel.